Okay, let's look at an example. We'll solve a system of equations and check by graphing. Okay, and the, the system is this. The first equation is y equals negative 1 half x minus 4. And the second equation is y equals x plus 5. So let's graph each of these. Okay, the first one, y equals negative 1 half x minus 4. Has a y-intercept of minus 4. And then the slope here is negative 1 half. And so if you think of the slope as rise over run, we have a rise of negative 1, which means we go down 1 and then a run of 2. So you can mark a point there. Then go down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2. And I like to mark a lot of these points, so I just have some points there to aim for as I draw in the graph. And let's continue this trend in this direction. Go uh, up 1 and left 2. Let me get these points here. And I'll go all the way out to the end. Okay, and let's sketch in the graph. Okay, so this is that first equation. Every point on this line is a solution to that equation. Now let's draw in the second one. y equals x plus 5. This has a y-intercept of 5, so that's up here. And then it has a slope of 1, because saying y equals x plus 5 is just like saying y equals 1x plus 5. So a slope of 1 means we go up 1 over 1. And so you can see the points are going to be right on these grid lines here. And we'll see where these lines cross. Okay, we've got it right there. That's going to be our solution. But let's go ahead and draw in the line here, because it only takes a moment. Okay. So every point on this green line is a solution to that equation, and every point on this blue line is a solution to that equation. And the point where they cross, I'll mark it in red here, that is the point that lies on both lines. So that's the solution to the system. And uh, let's see, what is that? Let's count here. One, two, three, four, five, six to the left. So x is negative 6, and y is negative 1. Okay, and then let's check that. If that is, in fact, the solution to the system, then those x, y values should work in each of those equations. So let's do the first one here. y, we're going to put a negative 1 for y, equals negative 1 half times x, which is negative 6, minus 4. Now is that true? Okay, let's see. Negative 1 equals, what is this? Negative 1 half times negative 6. Well that will be positive 3 minus 4. And look, that works. Negative 1 is in fact 3 minus 4. Okay, let's try the other equation also. We're going to put in negative 1 for y and say, does that equal, put in negative 6 for x, negative 6 plus 5, and that works also. Negative 1 is, in fact, negative 6 plus 5. So we algebraically have verified that that is, in fact, the solution to this system of equations.